want to straighten a couple of things out. I've never said, and I don't think Hillary Clinton thinks that you're a witting asset. You might be an unwitting asset. Not that that means you're stupid, but people can be used. Well, that, that's exactly what okay. it means, though. That's exactly thing, what it means. The other means. thing that confuses me, wait, I have one more question. You're on state TV all the time. Why do you go on What's Fox TV? Fox Channel, which is a She's propaganda to to a propaganda audience. network, 16 times with Tucker Carlson. I never see you with Chris Wallace or, or that other guy, which is named Brett Baer. Well, Why and, aren't you on with them? They're definitely middle of the road. Why do you go on with Tucker, who's a liar and, and a propagandist? So let me start with um, how offensive it is to say that I am a witting or unwitting asset of a foreign country, working against the interests of our people and our country, the not country that I am willing to lay my life down for. So if you're saying it's not deliberately, then you are implying it could be. that I am too stupid and too naive and lack the intelligence no. to know what I am doing. Can you, that can is I extremely get, offensive can I get you to, put to the me quote and to up? every can you guys woman of put color. the quote back up? Because I think everyone is sort of missed something. What are we missing? Well, I think what you're missing is that that asset had nothing to do with Tulsi. She was talking about Jill, Jill Stein. Actually, her, no, yes, that's that's and her an spokesperson well, confirmed wait, it. I'm not making it the they, second They called part, you please. a Russian doll. <laughs> Her okay. spokesperson confirmed it because media, some of the media followed up and asked her, asked for her spokesperson to say what she meant and confirmed that they were talking about me. So there was no mistaking that. Right. Okay. Well, okay. that's clear. Well, the well, quote thought... that we saw, I'm sorry, I just want to point out the quote that we saw wasn't... She well, they never she's named her. her. They never right. named her. She's, she's, she's talking, uh, yeah. assuming Jill Stein will give it up, Why but she might not, because yeah. she's also I, I, a Russian I mean, this, this, this was, was after that yeah. quote was made, right. media across spectrums Went were bizarre. reporting about what Hillary Clinton just mm -hmm. said about Tulsi Gabbard. I, I want to, I just, I, you, yeah. you raised a second issue about why yes. I go on Fox News. Yeah. I go on Tucker Carlson, go on Brett Baer, go on Sean Hannity, go on MSNBC, go on CNN. I am here to speak to every single American in this country about the unifying leadership that I want to bring as president. Not just speak to those who agree with me. Nice to think that but, that can happen. But to speak with those who may disagree with me, recognizing that I'm asking for the opportunity to serve every single person in this country. We have to come together Joy, you for our to country Fox. and our country's future. You they used to become outrageous. Friends. They lie all the time. Well, they I, just but lie. I, I, I think it's, but it's, it's, I, take, I think the reason why you, so many Republicans respond to you is because you don't treat us like we're garbage. You, you actually care about the audience and care about reaching out, which to a lot of conservatives, which by the way, you're going to have to win them over to get to the White House, yeah. one way or another is important and I think just negating all of Fox's audience I called Elizabeth Warren to task on it not their audience I'm on the talking show. about Tucker Carlson well, right now but I'm, there to, Sean speak, I'm there to speak to the Two audience liars. And, they, and they, they, both, right, they right. both have some of the largest audiences on television yeah. say but I do want to ask you something else Kamala Harris said recently that her race and gender are quote the elephant in the room and that many still question if America is ready for a woman and specifically a woman of color to be president and you're also a woman of color yeah. is, is that you feel been a problem for I, you? I do you think, agree with her? No, I, I think the American people are ready for a president that will put people ahead of politics, put people ahead of profits. Then why and is she saying that, you think? You have to ask Kamala that. I can't speak to why she's saying that. But what I've seen in our travels across New Hampshire, we just came from New Hampshire yesterday, uh, across the early states, we have some New Hampshire people here is uh, we are building a coalition of support that is very diverse. Yes, it crosses party lines. People who are looking out for the best interests of our country, which by the way, makes me the best candidate to defeat Donald Trump so that we can then begin to do the very important work that begins the morning after <clears throat> to bring about the systemic change we need to see to take our government back from the rich and powerful who control it and make it so our government is truly of, by, and for the people. Day one, day one, you wake up as president. Do you say first five big companies are going to return money to the people who are here? Maybe mixing up uh, some of Andrew Yang's plan of how to do that. Do you say you're going to be able to write stuff off again so you can take your family on vacation if you need to? Is that, is that your day one? Yeah, I think, I think day one starts with making it so that, for example, with health care, uh -huh. we do not have big insurance and big pharma at the table as we're writing legislation to make sure that our health care policies are actually serving people right. and not driving up their profits. But you're going to give us some money back? 
Yes. I, I, the, I, the money, I, look, this is, this is a fact, though. The money has been going. You have all these tax loopholes and, and giveaways that we saw with the last tax bill that was passed uh -huh. by Trump and the Republicans that uh, were, by and large, a huge, huge boon to those with the very most uh -huh. and leaving the rest of us behind, maybe uh -huh. with a few crumbs along the way. Uh -huh. it's, it's completely changing the paradigm of what our government is doing and who we're serving. Right. So day putting one. Putting people first. You're putting us back. Day one and well, every day that follows. You're also not going to take my guns. I appreciate that, too. All right. <laughs> I will. I'll take it. Well, maybe not all of them. <laughs>